Okay, the clip bin now. So let's say I start with a fresh project. Okay, I want to create a project on paper. Okay, I'm going to import uh, some media files. Um, I don't know, there's a video. Uh, that's one that comes with the Camtasia. I'm just going to open it just for fun. I'm going to import some more media. Can I preview this? No. Okay. Let's say I select all of them and just import them. We'll see why later. And uh, you can either click import media or right click and click import media. So everything now is included. And as you can see, um, one thing that is cool in your clip bin, you can um, have a visual presentation separated by, by uh, kinds of media. Uh, it separates media, audio and video. You can select to have the detail view. It depends if you name your file uh, properly. Sometimes it's good because uh, you can see the name. In my case, since it's stock photo, it's only numbers and I have no idea what they are until I look at them. So I prefer to have the uh, thumbnail view. You can either choose to show in group or all mixed up together. I think it's better if you separate the different kind of assets that you have or media that you have in the, the, the library, the clip bin. Now, I, I've told you this, this clip bin is associated with the project I'm, I'm creating right now. So I will save it. Uh, yeah, override it. That's the default name. So oh, let's let's give it a good name just just to make sure. Test. Ooh, our original test. Okay. Yeah, I want to replace it. So you see, if I if I um, create a new project, you see everything's gone, because the files are the, the the files that are were in my clip bin are gone because they're associated with the project. As the library, remember the one we created before, it's still there. So I'm gonna reopen it, uh, and everything is coming back. There's one thing you need to remember. Those are not the actual file. This is not the actual image. It's just a representation that Camtasia is showing you. It's a placeholder. Okay, so just so you know that you can use this file. You can use this file without actually uh, going to your hard disk every time. So it's that's you know that's that was the bucket I, idea I was telling you uh, before. Oh, come on. Okay. If you save your project and later do a little bit of cleanup on your hard disk and you erase those images, uh, if you try to reopen your Camtasia project, they will be gone. You will get an error and Camtasia is going to tell you that you can't find some of the assets that are associated with the project. Those are just placeholder. Okay. This is not the actual Austin Variation 8 dot mp3 file it's just it's just telling you that you've selected those uh, files to maybe use them in your project and it's showing them to you and so you don't have to go navigate into your window every time you need one okay it's just a placeholder remember that so if you erase stuff it will be gone so th there's a way to uh, to actually uh, prevent that okay I'm going to show you. I'm going to create a little video. Yeah, yeah. Let's use that size. Okay. Wow, what an interesting project on paper. Woo. Okay. So I save it. I could just leave it like that, close Camtasia, and I'm done. Remember, there's a problem. If you remove some of those files, like those files come from everywhere on my hard disk. Okay. I'm going to show you what I mean. The actual files are from everywhere. The, the images come from my... I have a directory called uh, Photo Images and Icons, that stuff I collect, okay? Um, the images are there, 
the audio files are somewhere else in my Sony Vegas uh, directory and the uh, video is in my Camtasia directory. If I move any of those, my video won't work. And if I try to open it later, it won't work. There's a way around that and it's a really cool feature. And it's called export project as zip. I think you should always do that. Uh, once you're finished working with a project or, or you know if you work on a project for a long time and you want to make sure you don't lose anything save it as a, a, a zip file okay if you have enough space uh, in my case i'm going to save it uh, it's going to give it the same name as the name of the project make sure the include all files from clip bin and zip is selected if you don't it will uh, only save uh, the actual cam proj file and a little file that camtasia need all the assets will not be there. So it's kind of useless. I don't know um, why. Anyway, they should include it all the time, but they give you the choice, I guess. So make sure it, it is click. You click save. It's going to compile. It's going to compress. Just now it's just creating the zip file. So you need to compress. If you have a lot of screen recording, it can get into the gig uh, and size. It can take some time to compress everything. Uh, be patient. In my case, it's not that long, so it's going to be quite quite quick. Almost done. Okay, so it is done. If I go look into my directory, um, this is the one I just uh, created. Oh, okay. It already existed, and it did put this anyway doesn't matter if i open it you can see all the file austin the, the three audio files and everything that that's very that's very good the problem is it, it takes a lot of space uh if you can see it's 157 meg why they're all little audio files and a couple of images but remember the video i imported before this audio this video file is 118 meg and it's saved uh, with my project, with my zip project. I don't need it because I, I, I won't use it. And uh, there's another problem is if you send this uh, file to somebody else to work on the web, uh, to, to work um, and you send it uh, using the web, you're going to waste bandwidth because and time because it's going to take a lot of time. Um, this is a small project. In some project, you know, you can have tens of video and, and, and images and sounds and you know your timeline is going to be very complicated and if you export uh, a huge file that that you know as a zip file and it gives you a, a three gig zip file and you send it to somebody else he won't be happy okay he, especially if it's full of, of useless uh, video in it so Camtasia has a really cool feature called the, the only way you can access it is by right clicking in the clip bin okay anywhere and it's called remove unused clip. You see it removed everything. And now if I if I export it again, you'll see. Uh, okay. Number two. You see how fast it's, fast it's going because all the junk is gone. If I look at the size, 12 meg, 157 megs. Why? because I did remove everything that was not used in the project. It's only the audio file. Okay, those images are really big because they're from uh, the web. So usually you could, you could use smaller images. Uh, but you see, uh, this, is, this is what it saves and it's really small. And I remember when I talked to you about if you don't select uh, to include all the files from the clip bin, those are the two files that are going to be exported. The rest won't be there. In our case, we selected to include everything, so everything's there. So I can send this file to somebody on the web. Uh, you can just uh, open it in uh, Camtasia, and it will, well, I'm going to show you. It's going to reload the project. So I've cleared the project by creating a new one. I'm going to go, um, you know, I've saved that, and I want to rework on my, my project. So I click on Import Zipped Project. It's gonna ask me import uh, into project directory. You can you can you know you can select where you want to import the project because it's actually gonna open it. In my case, uh, it's uh, the last one. It's this one. 
it's it's going to open the pack the, the the project so it did decompress everything as as you can see everything is as it was uh before so everything is everything's well so that's why you use the remove unused clip there's only one problem with the um it's kind of weird because if, if you let's say you use um i don't know i want to add that it would push everything okay I've added, uh, you know, my little intro I did before uh, in front of the video. I, 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 I'm going to undo this. As you can see, the cursor was there. It doesn't matter. You, you click it. Um, if I want to add it here, I, dry, I, I release it here. You see, the cursor is going to move where you can actually add it. You cannot add it in, mi in the middle of the video if you want it to be add, added in the middle of the video, you would have to split the video in two first. So I want to add it to the start. So I, I release it there. So now let's see if it works. It is a bit jerky because it's playing on the computer in real time. You see, sometimes it's, it's a little jerky and that's normal because the computer needs to play the call out with the fade in and everything at the same time as it displays. Don't worry when you export it, it's going to be nice. Uh, the same is, you know, the images looks kind of jerky. It's because it's shrinking the actual image to fit into my little window. This is the real size it's going to play at, so don't worry about that. So if you look... Um, this is not included in the clip bin okay um and there's no way to export i cannot click on that and click uh, add to click bin it doesn't work okay it doesn't matter if you save the project it is going to be saved into um oops Okay, let's open this project again. Apparently, I've closed it before saving it. Oh, oh no, okay, I did save it. Export project as zip, and I'm going to call it number three. Remember, I click include all clips from uh, all files from clip bin. Now, if you can, if you can look. Uh, you see the file is a little bit bigger. It's now 20 meg because it did include the actual uh, files from the from the library. Okay, it still include in the export file. Oh, it's here. Okay, so you can see those are the files from the actual. Uh, that that one I know that one is that one is from and that one. That's from my intro. So it did export everything. So this is mainly how you use the clip bin and the library. Remember to save your project often and to um, and to export your project once it's done as a zip file because it's a good way for you to back up your stuff and keep everything at the same place and make sure no files are missing in the future. So see you on the other video.